Hello, hello, Islanders and global viewers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making for you beetroot sorrel. Okay, last time we made the sorrel, but this time we put it a little twist to it. We're adding some beetroot to it for you today. Now, what a day it has been. Today was the last day of the World Cup. Argentina took it home. France came in second. So, felicitaciones, Argentina. And La France, bien joué La France, très bien joué, well played France. Now on to our business right here. Stay with me guys. Okay guys, here we go getting right into it. It's another one for you, another sorrel mix for you, a sorrel drink mix for the holiday season different types of ways that you can have your soil you know it's a versatile drink you can use different fruits to combine with your soil and in this case we're using some beetroot today we're going to do the soil for you today with some beetroot you know this, these are our beetroots that we have here that we'll be using we'll be using just about five of them blending it separately straining it off to get the juice and pouring it into the soil mix once we have already strained the soil mix just when we're about to sweet it, that's when we'll be adding our beetroot juice to it. We'll be using some ginger again and just a few cloves and we're going to be sweetening it with brown sugar, okay? That's just to show you what it is that we'll be using. Here we have our sorrel, nice and rich and red. All right, here we go. We're gonna just fill this up with some water. Fill up this bowl here. All right, so it's just about full now, this bowl. Immerse this soil in the water. I'm gonna tip a little bit of salt in the water because if there's any little insect or any little impurity in this, a little salt will take care of that. Just a little tip you wanna put in the water. And just turn that pipe off now. Search around that the salt just mix right through. Yes. We'll be shaking it a little vigorously in the water. Because the idea is that you have to wash it really thoroughly because you know in the fields just about any little thing can be in your soil. You don't want that. So ensure it that and leave it down a little bit and rest it there for just about a minute. And you'll see if any little insect in it, they'll just float up, you throw it off. And then you're ready to go, pour it off, and can give it another little wash openly in the sink. Now your sink has to be washed clean at all time. You know, sometimes you'll cut up your meat in your sink. So you have to be sure to uh, sanitize your area at all times. So the sink, I washed out the sink with a little bit of bleach just before, right? So that it is quite clean. You don't want any cross contamination going on, all right? All right, I just pour this off now. That's enough. Yes, that's time enough. Oh, you see, uh huh. Looking fairly good. What I'm gonna do is just lift this out of the sink here, put it over on this side. Yes, as a matter of fact. Put it. Yeah, I want to just remove it little by little from this bowl right on into this thing where it's spread out thin like that. Uh -huh. I told you before, the sink is quite clean. I just want to separate it from this water so it's in a totally different space now. Open there and voila. Good. Now this is the water and what is left. It's left in the water. And I pour this off in the other side of the sink. Aha. Uh -huh. Now look in the bone guys. 
see a few little grains in the bowl. This is why we don't use the same container to wash the sorry that you're going to boil it in. You change that container so that you get out any little grains of you know soil because this is a farm product, it's from the soil. So you'll have little residue of that in it and you want to eliminate that before you get it ready for consumption. Alright? So here we go now. What I'm gonna do, rest this all right here, put this right over it, the pipe over it, and just rinse these in a small portion like that. This by this running under the water and put it back into that bowl now. Good. Here we go. Yes. Good. This sorry is another nice, lovely, rich red one. Can you see it? See how lovely that looks, guys. And you want your your, your sorry to be crispy, and that's how you know it's fresh. You hear a crack like that when you squeeze it. You heard that? Yes, you heard. You hear a nice. Uh, crack not just soundly weak like you're folding bread and you hear that crack you know it's fresh sorry all right all right all right it's all washed now we're gonna set this aside and move on to our ginger no the ginger is another one of course you have to wash your ginger thoroughly you scrape it nicely okay your knife. I'm gonna scrape it like that and remove any little rough skin and dirt in between those places. We are finished washing the ginger now, fully clean. Yes, a little bit of skin is left on it, that's no problem, but you can see it's quite clean. What we're gonna do now is just beat it. Last time I blended it, but today I'm in the mood to beat it. So I have a bottle here that is thoroughly washed. Just have coffee bottle with some fruits that was soaking as well from the cake time and so I'm gonna just beat this and put it in the pot to boil a little bit before I add in the soil all right yes and this gets it crushed just as just as well yes this is our original grandparents style in a no blender business just get in the bottle from your cupboard, wash it properly, and make two stamp, and that's it, ready. See how it's all flattened out and ready? You know, the, the strength of the ginger can easily escape now into the soil. All right, gonna put this in the pot on the stove that's boiling along with a few cloves. All right, follow me over to the pot now, guys. All righty, we're back here now. Ready to just pour the soil into the pot yes, that's it you want to remember to put just enough water to cover the soil because you don't want it to be thin you see you need some more water just as I thought so I had my kettle boil and ready to just pour over it see that awesome watch it rise see that that's just enough to cover it. So far it reaches. Yes, just enough to cover. This is just about half the amount I made the last time. Yeah, there you go. Cover this down and leave it. We're gonna leave it overnight just as we did the last time. Um, and the stove is off now. So in the next 24 hours, we'll be back here to strain, sweeten with our just sugar and add our beetroot juice to it. All right, guys, stick around. All right, time to open this pot. Ooh, 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 look at that. Wow, so deep, that color, look at it. It is rich. It is rich. Real rich. I'm telling you. Can you see it, guys? I'm going to zoom this right in for you. Into my pot, I'm inviting you. Look at it. Wow. Awesome. All set now. All set. 
just gonna throw this off now and this time I'm gonna retain the sorrel because I'm gonna do another recipe with it I'm going to work up some other recipe it's a surprise I'm not telling you yet but for now we're gonna strain this off to continue to our sorrel and blend up our beetroot and combine All right, so I've washed the beetroots. I know I'm just gonna just be peeling them off and putting them in. Putting them in, this little blade look like it's getting a little dull. That's right. I think I'm gonna use my knife. That blade is giving me a little trouble. Twisting about. Just wanna remove the skin. If you don't like the red getting on your hand, you can wear a little gloves, but I don't mind. Alright. Okay guys, here we go once more pouring off this soil drink. Oh yes. Uh-huh. Wow. This soil is super, super, super red, super rich. Mm. And this one, I'm retaining it, guys. I have plans for it. Okay, now we are ready to just blend this beet. I'm gonna just be pouring in some water, just enough water to cover that beet. So it has enough space to move around and not be too um, difficult to blend. That looks like about it. Mm. Gonna just add a little bit more, just a little bit more. That's it. Cover. And start the blending now. I mentioned to you guys that this juice here beet can actually be had by itself as a drink oh it's quite smooth it is smooth it is smooth enough I'm thinking we should have been able to extract most of the juice out of it through the blending process we're just gonna get a fine cloth and sieve this right through now because we blended it real smooth all right guys so that's it yeah, and this is also an excellent detox drink, you know. Beat all by itself can be an excellent detox drink. Right now, we're gonna just sieve it, as I said, with a nice clean cloth, a really thin one. All right, guys, I mentioned to you that we're gonna be using a very thin, thin cloth. You can get it from sometimes, you know, if you have the lining of a curtain or something like that very thin just enough to allow the liquid to pass through but to catch any little sediments and that's what we're going to be using to strain off our beetroot now all right watch me i'm gonna spread it over like that make a little what did i say a little belly in the middle so that it doesn't just float right across but you make that indentation in it so you can hold it right in like that Mm -hmm. All right, I want to be just watching it leak through, you know, into the bowl. Wow. All right. Here we go now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready or not, here I come. There goes the beat. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, right out of my blender and in I scrape out the rest of my beet i don't have anything to waste you know i scrape out everything out of this blender right onto this nice 
cloth here. All right. That's it, that's it. All right, through. Awesome. Wow. This is so rich. Can you see it, guys? I'm going to give you a close up real soon. But I just want to squeeze this and get everything I can out of That's why it's so good to have a really thin cloth like I'm using now. So when you squeeze it, you don't have to worry about the pulp coming through. You see, just the juice is coming through. And your hands must be very clean for this. You're handling all of this. Wow, wow, wow. Mm, mm, mm. What more could I ask for here? Yes, that's it. Awesome. Think I can stop now? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I'm stopping right here. Great. See, that's what's left in here now. All right. All the pulp is left in the cloth. You see that? Right. Okay, guys. There we have all our sorry fully strained off. And let me tell you something. As much as I hate to admit it, I, I just have to admit it. The sorry before was not as red as this one somehow it is just way more on the red side i put it in this um dish here to show you the stark contrast with the beetroot now the beetroot is more on the purple side i'm gonna show you that right close up just now can you see that look gaze between your Screen, right at the bottom of the screen there where you can see the beetroot in my hand in this cup it looks more purple than the soil that is more on the red side behind it right so we're gonna just pour this right in now combining it all right oh all this richness mm, 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 mm. don't you just love that all right, and we're going to add just sugar now. No alcohol going into this drink, just adding some sugar. And if you wish, you could add a little lime at this time. I'm not adding the lime simply because uh, I'm of the opinion that this syrup is kind of tangy enough, you know, the syrup is a little bit tangy, so I won't be adding the lime. So I'm adding some sugar now, just about a cup and a half of sugar. Then I'll just stir this properly. All right. There we go now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow. Nice. Awesome. Mix it out that sugar. Whoa. And whoa. This purplish with the red gives you a color second to none. Mmm. And it's smelling so good, guys. Uh, smell the cloves and the ginger. And that sorry flavor is as strong as ever in it. Just as strong as ever. Yes, it is. All right, guys. My guess is that this is fully ready now. I'm going to taste that. Let me taste it. Mm. Awesome. Flavorful, guys. I, I, I can taste the beet coming through strongly. And the sorrel is holding its own. The ginger is powering through. Not too strong, but I still taste it. Everything has come together so beautifully. Sorrel and beetroot. It's another style. Just another twist that you can have to share with your family. No alcohol involved. 
really refreshing let me serve you up some of this now well well guys if you like this video please remember to share subscribe and until next time ciao thank you so much for watching